Hello and welcome to my skills performance vlog. Here's the outline of my warm-up planning sheet. The goal of my warm-up is to prepare the body for physical activity. In order to achieve this, I will begin with light activities to increase my heart rate, followed by a series of mobility and flexibility exercises for the whole body. I then will finish with key exercises to activate my muscles. Here's a time lapse of me completing my warm up. You can see I'm working through my pulse raising exercises for 30 seconds each. We then they'll go on to our flexibility exercises, holding each stretch for 10 seconds, working from upper body to lower body, and finishes with our activation exercises. My current location is Hong Kong, and due to this, my situation, I have access to a large space with a yoga mat, skipping rope, and a squash racket. I'm able to go outside and have access to some sports facilities that are squash courts in my building. Thinking about the different variety of activities that I am able to complete, I have chosen fitness for my Criterion C activity. The three skills I have decided to perform in my vlog are bodyweight squats, bodyweight push-ups and the bicycle crunch. I will go over these technical points with my performance videos. To perform a squat, you must start with your feet shoulder width apart and keeping your back straight. As you squat down, make sure your knees track out over your feet, keeping your back nice and straight. For push-ups techniques, I've tried to start with a straight back and then bending at my elbows to lower my chest towards the ground before extending back up. To perform a bicycle crunch, I start off by lying down flat on my back with my feet off the floor. And then as I extend up into the sit-up, I rotate at my waist, bringing my elbow across my body to touch the knee on the opposite side. Here's a second example of our skills performance vlog, focusing on the crit C element through the focus on a skill-based activity. The three skills I have chosen to perform are straddle jump, forward roll and handstand and I'll go through the key technical points along with my videos. To perform a straddle jump, you have to jump out, extending your legs forward and keeping them straight with your chest up. As you can see in this picture, I've managed to get good height on my jump. However, I could improve my performance by keeping my legs more straight and extending my chest forward. To perform a forward roll, start off in a standing position and then tuck down, bringing your knees into your chest. Place your hands on the floor and tuck your head down and then extend, extend through your legs into the roll, finishing in a standing position. In order to perform a handstand, start in a standing position with one foot forward and your arms up in the air. Place your hands down on the floor at shoulder width apart and kick your legs up and try and hold the balance with the legs straight and holding the core tight. As you can see in this image, I have placed my hands at shoulder width apart and extended my legs up to a good height. However, to further improve my performance, I need to look to further extend my legs to keep them straight and to engage my cores to avoid arching my back.